kick it. Yes, you can. Can I kick it? 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 Can I kick it to all the people who can quest like a tribe does? Before this, did you really know where I was? Comprehend to the track for us, why? Cause getting mentions on the tip of the vibe buzz. Rock and roll to the beat of the funk fuzz. Wipe your feet really good on the rhythm rug. If you feel the urge to freak, do the jitterbug. Come and spread your arms if you really need a hug. Afrocentric living is a big shrug. I like filled with, that's what I love. A lower plateau is what we're above. If you just Did you hear about Helene's kickback tonight? Uh, no, but I'm going to Brianna's party. She's in the party? Yeah, she's having a graduation party. Oh, I think I'll go there then. Yeah, I'm pretty sure it's going to be better than the kickback, so. Really? All right, I'll think about going then. No, I'm just going to go. Yeah, it's going to be dope. All right, sounds good. Right now? Yeah, we can go up to the next. Alright, thank you. We're gonna hit up Martin, then. Right, we'll call him real quick. Yeah, man, we're coming right now. Okay, well, we'll Watch your head. <laughs> 
Look, I'm fine. Like, dude, any tests? Look, no, bro. I'm no, like you. I'm can't. Give me the keys. Dude, no. All right, give me, give me my dude. keys. All right, bro. Give me my keys. You show you got. I'm it. fine. All Let's right. go. Camille, I'm hungry. What's your point? Take me to the food. I don't want to go right now. I'm having a good time. Clean. No, okay. Allison. Okay, I'll drive you. I'll drive you. Wait, can I go with you guys? I'm really hungry too. Wait, give me the bottle. No, no, no. Allison. Okay. okay. Yeah, let's go. All right, bye, guys. Bye. 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 Woo! That was nice. We don't see if I don't play Stay here until I unlock the door. Thanks, you're, so, you're such a good friend. <laughs> hey, can you get in the car without falling over? Yeah. Oh, man. Watch the road. I got it, I got it. Uh, it's gonna be somewhere around here though. You better, be, you better be playing good tonight. You usually hey. suck. You better be playing good tonight. I'm kidding. I'm gonna be hit. Don't worry about me. Don't, don't worry. I, I can play with my I can drive. I'm gonna I can. I can Nine one one, what's your emergency? I just saw an accident. Where is it at? It's on Landau and Vistachino. Do you know if anyone's hurt? They look really hurt. What do you mean by that? There's two cars. Kids are not moving. There's blood everywhere. And you said it's Vistachino and Landau? Yes, hurry please, they look hurt. Okay, we're starting fire and paramedics and police now. Remember what brought you here? <coughs> you remember how much you have to drink? What? Do you remember how much you have to drink? I didn't, I didn't, I didn't, I didn't even drink. You didn't drink? I don't know. What happened? Where? Were you by yourself? No, I wasn't. I... But what, do I, what am I doing? Where? What am I doing? I'm drawing your blood. I want to see how much uh, blood alcohol is on you. Where, where are my friends? Where is, 
Is everyone okay? Your friends are in another hospital. Uh, where's my mom? Where, can I just... What am I doing? The, the officer is going to let you talk to your parents and the see your parents. The officer? For what? What? Okay. What? You were in a car accident. I'm almost done, hang in there. Hi, Mr. and Mrs. Webb, yes.
want you to do is I want you to turn your body and I need you to face that door right over there. Scoot forward just a little bit. Right there. Keep your chin up. Open your eyes. It's against you in court. Do you understand? You have the right to the presence of an attorney before and during any questioning. Do you understand? If you cannot afford an attorney, one will be appointed for you free of charge before any questioning if you want. Do you understand that? Yeah. So, having those rights in mind, do you want to talk to me about what happened? I don't even, I don't even remember. Well, I need to know whether you want to talk to me about this or not. You have a lot of questions that need to be answered. I can tell you what I know, but I, I don't know much. Okay, well, what I do want to know is how much have you had to drink tonight? Little to none. Well, what did you drink? Uh, I played a couple of games of beer pong. A couple of shots, but that's it. Yeah, well, you play beer pong, so normally when you play beer pong, you drink beer. So what kind of beer were you drinking? But like regular beer. Yeah, how many beers did you have? I'm not, I don't, I can't, I don't, I didn't keep count, I didn't keep track, I'm not sure. Uh, well, you know, as a minor and you're under 21, you can't drink and especially you can't drive. So, did you have any hard alcohol after that? You said you had some shots. Yeah, I had some shots. Alright, what were you drinking? What, were, what kind of shots were you drinking? Tequila. Tequila. And you actually felt like you were okay to drive? Yeah, I'm, I was, I, I thought it was fine. Yeah, well, how did you feel? Good. Like, I don't, I just felt fine. I just, I know when I'm okay to drive and when I'm not okay to drive. Well, you know what happened to everyone else in the car? No. They're all dead. to welcome and thank all of you for being here today and celebrating and honoring the life of Camille Creer. Uh, today's um, service will be officiated by Minister Joseph Butts. Thank you. We're here today to celebrate a life that has been taken away from us much too early. We're here today to talk about and celebrate the life of Camille. 
Most of you have known Camille during your high school years and some of you during your elementary and middle school years. Those that really know her knows that she was up at 4.30 every morning for swimming practice. She spent 15 hour days getting home at 7 o'clock, 7.30 every evening. Most of you also know that Camille was a born leader. She also played water polo. Some of the things that Camille has practiced for, has strived for, has waited for, all of her young life, she won't be able to do. Her whole high school career has been geared towards a, a career in college, and then maybe even professionally. Camille won't be able to go to Lake Forest College after graduating from high school this year because her young life has been taken away from us. Camille won't be able to graduate with the rest of you a few days from now because her young life has been taken away from us. Camille won't be able to continue doing the community service for which she has committed over 200 hours of her time the last three or four years to. People won't be able to benefit by all the help that Camille was to them. Her mother, her father who sit here today, won't feel, know, and have the support and commitment that they had from Camille. Her mother went through three surgeries. Camille was always there to support her, to encourage her, to help her in any way that she could. Several years ago, her father suffered a near-death accident. Camille was there to support him, to encourage him, to help her mother, mother and to stand by him in all that he went through. Calvary Chapel will no longer have the services of Camille, who is a, at an early age was very active in her church. From the age of five to now the age of 17, we have had Camille as a part of our lives, never to have her anymore. Thank <laughs> you.